All right, <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim or Hakodash, to bring honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They taught us his truth and they're doing well. Much peace, love, blessings, and many salutations to the election. All right, I'm the brother Shapal out of the Great Millstone Dallas branch, coming to you all again with another lesson. And Lord, what in this lesson is edifying unto the flock of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, this is a, uh, you know, after work, post work in transit, if you will. All right, I'm on my way home uh, to Bayath right now. Uh, but this is just a lesson, you know, a real quick lesson that I want to do through the Spirit. You know, Lord, when it'll be edifying. I'm going to start here in the book of 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, and just go right into it. All right, 2nd Ezra 16 and 14. It says, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled. And shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth. All right, and this is pretty much, uh, you know, when you read in these uh, latter latter chapters of the book of Second Ezra. All right, it's pretty much the prophet Ezra. All right, receiving uh, various different visions that pertain to the end. All right, various different visions that pertain to the end in which we're living in these latter days right now. Which is why he's going to say what he says here in verse 17. All right, so let's continue on. Verse 16, it says, Like as an arrow that is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. And that's one of the four sword judgments in which the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, judges the inhabitants of a particular land, or in this case, you know, pretty much the whole earth, but particularly America, Babylon, the Great, all right, plagues, all right, um, the sword, uh, famine, and the teeth of wild beasts, okay, you know, these things are created for judgment, essentially, okay, so the prophet Ezra, seeing all these things, he comes in the spirit of what, verse 17, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days, all right, this, this proves, you know, one of two things, you know, that regeneration, all right, or what the world will refer to as reincarnation, you know, pretty much the same thing, is a biblical concept, you know, and that the prophets of old, the men of old had this understanding, you know, um, that, you know, essentially the spirit, all right, is eternal, you know, even in the world today, they tell you that energy cannot be destroyed uh, or created, it's only transferred. So the spirit leads the physical body and essentially will return back to fulfill whatever judgment all right, that it had to um, pretty much for uh, the, the reward of its past life, if you will. <clears throat> and the second thing, like it says, what was me, what was me who would deliver me in those days is that the prophet Ezra was seeing things so bad, all right, that, you know, essentially it led him to think so far ahead, like, like man, like in, in the latter days, what am I going to even do? Like, how can I? How can I possibly escape the things that I'm seeing, right? So, I mean, the point is, what I want to make the point of this lesson is that, you know, the Heavenly Father has reserved unto him an elect, all right? At the end of the day, the Heavenly Father has reserved unto him an elect. And while here in, we, in these latter days, we see these very things. We see the pestilences, man. We see the plagues, all right? The MP, the, the C9, all right? We see these things on, uh, you know, they're here, man. You know, I recently seen a, um, let me see if I could grab it real quick. I found it very interesting. And just bear with me because I'm uh, pulling into my. It's <clears throat> like you. Oh, shit. <sighs> Fuck. All right, it's like you. Fucking ruin that shit. <clears throat> So it says, uh, this is from TMZ. Um, this was on the 9th of this month. Uh, and it says, uh, China has discovered a new Langya virus within its borders with 35 people already infected. And this woman replied, this was on Twitter. This woman replied, unrelated, I was reading about as global warming continues to melt ancient ice, ancient diseases will likely be re-released into the world that haven't been active in thousands of years so it's interesting to see how you know through esau's technology through 
you know, the devices and the things which he's created, it's all essentially playing into the Heavenly Father's plan of, uh, you know, pretty much bringing it to naught. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, man, I don't, e I, I don't even know what to compare it to, but it's, it's funny, you know, how the Heavenly Father, you know, and this, you know, it could be true, it could not, but at the end of the day, if, hey, it makes sense, you know, it would make sense that that's the case. So I said that to say, you know, pretty much we're seeing these things arise today here in the end. You know, we're in these unprecedented times, but we have to always remember that the Heavenly Father is going to have mercy unto his elect. Actually, let me see real quick. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter three and verse nine. All right. It says they that are put or they that put their trust in him. You know, the elect are going to be the ones that put their trust in the Heavenly Father. All right, so they that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth, right? And the truth is comforting at the end of the day. You know, Yahweh Shai said, I'm going to send you the, the comforter, even the spirit of truth that the world cannot receive. You see, so the rest of the inhabitants of the earth, they have no hope. But we've been given, what, a, a actual uh, insight unto understanding, oh, this is the will of the Heavenly Father playing out. And if I move accordingly... You know, if I'm on point to the best of my ability, although I'll make mistakes and whatnot, shouldn't let those things weigh me down. But essentially, hey, I have a very good chance of being of that number, you know, if it be the Lord's will. Right. I don't want to write the but, you know, the Lord knows our heart, man, at the end of the day. And I don't want to sound cliche when I say that, but the Lord, you know, he knows us, man. All right? He knows our, our intentions, whether they're, uh, you know, pure or whether they're, you know, uh, have a, some... Uh, corrupt uh, intentions behind them, you see. So we're hoping that they, at the end of the day that the Lord is going to, you know, justify us and have mercy on us in the midst of all these things. Yeah, again, the prophet Ezra saw these things and he's saying, what was me? What was me? Who would deliver me in those days? Well, the answer to his question is, how about Shem Yal Shai is going to deliver, deliver you from the same? Matter of fact, I know I'm reading right here in Wisdom of Solomon <laughs> 3 and 9, but real quick, I think that's uh jeremiah no no and, and beautiful because this is just later on in the chapter I, w I don't know why i was thinking of jeremiah real quick i'm sorry it's like you just you know bear with me brothers just in the spirit um jeremiah 30 and 7 it says alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, which we're entering into that time period now. The beginning of sorrows are here, right? But it says, but, but he shall be saved out of it. And that's going into that remnant, man. The Lord has always reserved the remnant to escape the pestilence, to escape the judgment. All right. Real quick, you even re read in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, starting at verse 7. It says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby you have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for i have sanctified them for me from the beginning so for the heavenly father's uh play if you will for his 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 movie the way he directed everything to play out he has a particular uh you know he has particular individuals set for the role to what to be saved when it's all said and done okay but let's jump back second Ezra 16 and um, jumping down a little bit to verse uh, <clears throat> 74, just getting to the point, it says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. <laughs> you see, so the Lord has, is going to make a way at the end of the day, man. The Lord has always made a way for his elect. The Lord has always made a way for, for those chosen souls, man. You see? So it says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. Right? Because the scripture says what? That the creature was made subject unto vanity, but the saying that was made subject unto vanity was made subject unto hope. You see? And our hope is that what? We'll be saved. You know, because the Lord, you know, the Lord knows our troubles, man. The Lord knows our struggles. You know, he put us in this position. <laughs> but see, he wants you to overcome. Just as Yahweh Shai overcame death, man. He wants you to overcome death as well. You see? And that's why, I, real quick, and then we'll jump back to that wisdom of Solomon. So like, I know I'm all over the place. <laughs> 
But real quick, another uh, priest Shahar, the brother Shahar, likes to bring this out. Uh, Jeremiah 29 and 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So it's already written. I mean, the end is already written for the elect, right? And we're striving to fight and Lord willing to be a part of that number. So what does that mean? Oh, we have a very good chance of being uh, uh, redeemed, right? We have a very good chance of being redeemed, man. And the Lord said, thoughts of peace and not of evil. The evil is for the for the rest of the inhabitants of the earth, man. We just we have to go through this straight and get, yes, we're going to be here on the earth as well, seeing these things and uh, 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 wanting to react uh, in the flesh. Wanting to, like, but, the, but the spirit has to be on you to overcome those things, man. You see? The Lord has good intentions towards his elect. Again, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. I know we didn't finish it, but it says, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. You see, so the Lord cares for his elect, man. I mean, all these things coming to pass, they must come to pass, right? I mean, the great sorrows are, 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 are here, you see. But... Yahweh Shai spoke on holding fast, you know, being still, you know, walking in the spirit. All right. Being comforted by these words, man, at the end of the day. OK, now I'm going to finish off here in the book of Psalms. <clears throat> so like you Psalms and let me let me actually because I might want to grab a word in here. All right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 32. In verse uh, 10, all right, it says, Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, mercy shall compass him about. All right, in NLT, it says, Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord, man. All right. So, yeah, man, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the Lord is going to have... Uh, you know, as as the elect are faithful unto the Lord, the the Lord is going to be faithful unto the elect, man. All right, it is written at the end of the day. All right, so you know, like I said, you know, just some of a quick, quick hit, if you will. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying and closing. I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachakudash. Double honors again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace, love, blessings, and many salutations to the election. Shalom.